mom's over at the house. We are about to chill. It's our first time seeing a Keurig. <laughs> so she's kind of fascinated by it. It's pretty cool. So guys, I am back on the 753, starting with five sets of seven overhead press here. I had recently done the uh, deadlift workout that you saw in the last video, and that was uh, Romanian, or excuse me, stiff leg deadlift, and I'm gonna be using stiff leg deadlift instead of conventional, or, or instead of sumo, for at least right now, on the, um, on the deadlifts for my 753. Now, for this, this feels it felt pretty light, but then again, that's the whole idea of you know resetting your training maxes, beginning with around 90% of what they could be right now, just to give yourself room to grow uh, so that you're not uh, grinding too soon in on the programming. And um, I'm also trying to, you know, you have to keep in mind that I'll, there's also other lifts that I'm doing. Uh, I keep that in mind. That I also have other goals besides just these big four lifts and uh, you know overall hypertrophy is still a goal of mine so that's another reason why I'm not going heavier although I could have maybe done 5, 10, 15 more pounds on these 5, 6, 7 uh, it would have been a little bit more grindy and the rest of the workout would have suffered a little bit there's always gives and takes there's so many different aspects when it comes to lifting you know you go harder here you have to pull back from there and vice versa so Always keep that in mind. Just because you're going super duper hard on a given exercise, you think you're a badass. Well, basically you took away slightly from the rest of the workout of the other exercises you were planning on doing. You're going to be taken away from a little bit of the volume that you could have possibly done in for the rest of the workout and tomorrow's workout and for the entire week. So there's a giant continuum. You always have to just remember that there's all these different factors. Learn your body over time, so on and so forth. Anyways, I, 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 I've noticed that the pause for the chest pressing has kind of gone into all the other chest presses for me workout too. meal, three oatmeal cookies and a protein shake. Bit of a rainy day outside, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna take my mom out to sushi now, post-workout meal, besides the cookies and protein shake. Uh, it's like Ninja Sushi's grand, grand, like true grand opening. Um, even though I went to the first one. This is like the ribbon cutting, like superficial one uh, that started like at 11 a.m. But I'm showing up like at 2 p.m. Just to show my support of a local business that I really enjoy going to. If anybody knows how to fix lawnmowers, this is just not working. It always seems like the gas ends up like leaking out from here and then it leaks in here and then, you know, it just collects there till the fumes kind of just make it go, just dissipate. Um, and uh, it stinks up the garage every time I do that. So I just stopped and I'm probably going to have to hire someone or figure a way to fix this. Um, I actually don't expect someone to reach out and be like, hey man, I'll fix that. And uh, even if someone did, I don't even know why I'm mentioning it. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? This is so funny. I was passing a parking spot and I was like, mom, go ahead and park there. I was going to park there, but I'm like, you know, it's closer to the restaurant than the mom. Well, that was weird, just to park there. And my mom's like, I can't do it! I can't parallel park there! I'm like, uh, okay. Falling on this camera is crazy. Falling huh? on this camera is crazy. We're out here at Ninja Sushi. They got live entertainment over there. All right, mom and I are sharing, so we got about half and half. This will be the first time I've ever done this here, but I'm actually gonna box this. Got two pieces here, two pieces there, two pieces there. Some meat. I'm gonna go to the gym, read, do some cardio after I grocery shop, and then uh, eat the rest of the sushi after that for my post cardio meal. I think that's the game plan. There's a book that I have to finish. I'm gonna do my cardio while I do that. It's gonna be perfect. Quick little grocery trip. Got about $137 worth of stuff. That's a lot of vegetables I got today. Mostly just vegetables and a, a few oddball things that I don't normally get. 
kind of excited to try a, a few new things like some granola mixes with my post-workout meals. Little fun things, a little bit higher calorie than just the rice cakes, but I'll still probably be eating rice cakes anyways. Post-workout dinner. You got salad with Chipotle, some leftovers from the seals, and uh, more salad over here. Training was all done fasted today, and I get home, I'm gonna eat a little bit of uh, leftover sushi with the uh, albacore, a little bit of chicken, some leftover, I know it looks probably disgusting, but some leftover salad plus chipotle from yesterday, and uh, a little bit later I'm gonna have a uh, kale shake, and then I think tonight we're watching UFC at Elkins' house, so I'll probably go and get a chipotle burrito for that, and maybe bring a salad. All right, so quick story. Do you guys remember back in 2014, went to Body Power, hung out with Lex, Mark Fit, Laney, and Chris Lovato after the expo for a few days, like four or five nights, something like that. And uh, we went to this restaurant that was delicious. And we had these drinks, these Swedish cider drinks. Do you guys remember that? 2015, Lex and Laney uh, gift me a 12 pack of these drinks right as I was about to go home to the United States. Took these home and I, uh, Drink them sparingly, like once every other month, something like that. Well, 
Megan, my girlfriend, recently, apparently she ordered me some. I got some in the mail today. It was crazy. She uh, she surprised me. I got this email yesterday that says, Matt, you're you're getting a FedEx shipment uh, tomorrow. And I was like, what the hell? What the hell did she order for me? I text her. I'm like, what'd you get for me, babe? And she's like, oh, it's a surprise. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? She's like, it's something you told me not to buy for you. And then I'm like, what the hell can she be talking about? This must be good. So as soon as I uh, get this package, I see alcohol signs on the side of it. I'm like, oh no, why did you do this? There's probably like a freaking fifth of vodka in here or something silly. Something I'm not even gonna drink. Um, and then uh, I open it and yeah, it's, it's these. These are my favorite drinks in the whole world. I love these. I, I spent years looking for what, not like every day, but like every few months, every you know handful of months, I'd check online to see where I could buy these. And, um, yeah, apparently she found out. Apparently she found out. So I'll see if I can figure that out from her. And maybe I can tell you guys where to get these. They are so good. It's like a low alcohol cider. It's like 4% alcohol per for volume. And uh, they're good. They're freaking good. You uh, drink them cold, put them over some ice, and they're delicious. Apparently in Sweden, this is like the most, like just a regular freaking drink. And in the UK, it's really popular, obviously in Sweden too. But uh, here in the United States, this shit's like a delicacy. And I doubt that many of my friends have ever even had this. So I feel pretty special with this. Thank you, Megan. I really appreciate that. All right, I'm going to Chris Hawkins' house, but I'm coming prepared. Let me show you what I mean, guys. Got two, uh, Two liter sodas, Diet and W. I'm preparing a salad I'm bringing over. We got, you know, the, the basics, mushroom, tomato. Um, I almost said pickle, but that's carrots. We got spinach, baby spring mix. I'm gonna bring all of that and bring a freaking big ass bowl, or maybe two, because I could probably eat one myself. I'm getting a huge family size pizza and more salad from the pizza restaurant. You guys are gonna see, I do a big. That's what happens when you invite me over to UFC. Ma'am. We'll All right, at the uh, Elfman's household. Jane, we gave Humphrey uh, chicken bone. Chicken pizza, chicken wing. I have some salad. Oh, no. That shit will be played. Yeah. You want? All this stuff, and you just never even come there. You came then, like ever again. You got on like one thing. You should have kept going there. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. If you are not already, follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, where practically every single day I'm dropping knowledge bombs and awesome content. I'll see you guys there.